Scott was actually in the Antarctic for over two years before his bid for the pole. During this time, he refused to surrender his Edwardian standards and came up with ingenious ways to continue fine dining. His team made use of everything they could find, including cooking penguin, albatross, and even roasting seal. I'm going to try and be just as inventive by combining Scott's high energy food with some Edwardian gourmet in a way that would have brought a smile to his face by making a Scott of the Antarctic roll. I've got here some duck livers, and these have been macerating um, in a mixture of sautern and sherry with some spices. And the livers have then been cooked, they're still warm. I did uh, read that Scott enjoyed eating seal liver, so I've just basically replaced the seal liver for a duck liver. It's important with this to work while the liver's still warm, because now the next stage is to roll this up into a ballotine, a sausage shape. If it's too hard, it, it, they won't press together properly. Let's get all the air pockets out. Well, this, this is going to form the center of my Antarctic roll. This kind of going to replace the ice cream. This is a bit of food fun. My Antarctic roll is the polar opposite to an Arctic roll, with the ingredients being savory rather than sweet. I now need to leave this in the fridge for five days. So I might be some time. I'm not joking. It takes five days for the flavors to mature and the balancing to be ready. Right, so while my center is setting, I need to make the jam part of my Antarctic roll. I've got here some rhubarb juice. There's a rhubarb jam. It's basically rhubarb pureed with pectin. And here, as a nod to the pemmican, I've got some freeze-dried raspberries. Freeze-drying preserves the kind of natural integrity and flavor of the fruit because you're not applying heat to it. You're actually, you're actually freezing it. You're actually drying it by freezing it. While my jam sets, I need to get to work on the outside of my roll. I'm using a brioche to form the walls of the Antarctic roll, which I slice into sheets. Right, next stage, I want to get some color on these slices. So now the brioche is brown, I need to finish making my Antarctic roll. Just trim off the excess. Right, so whilst that's setting, I need to do the final part of the dish. This is edible snow, made with the form of tapioca mixed with truffle oil. Just heating the knife so it cuts through the, um, all the layers. So there it is, my Scott the Antarctic starter. <laughs>